On today's episode, we're going to talk about the frontside rock and how you guys can learn them. So, this is not your standard 30 second trick tip. This is the total OCD skate nerd version of a trick tip. I don't know about you guys, but I kind of get upset when I watch trick tips and I don't learn anything from them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break down the front side rock part by part so you guys can piece it all together and learn front side rocks and even master them. Now, I'm not saying I have the best one in the world. I'm not trying to blow smoke up my own ass, but I think I can help you guys out. So. Let's start. Frontside rocks have been around since the late 1970s from Eddie Elguera. It's not one of the hardest tricks around, but it's also not an easy trick. It's really an in-between trick. But before you try them, there are a few tricks you need to have on lock. You need to have rock to fakies. Also, you need rock and rolls, which are turning backside out. And you also need front side kick turns and ideally the ones where you knock your back truck on the coping. So you get that feeling of turning front side. If you have these three tricks on lock, you're ready to try the front side rock. First thing to know is where to place your body weight within the ramp. A lot of people try and put their body weight over the coping or on the deck, which is one of the most common mistakes you can do. your body weight needs to be right over the transition. So your butt needs to be right over the transition. So how do we keep our body weight within the ramp and not over the coping or on the deck? First thing to know is when you will do your rock and roll, you need to push the deck forward. So that will straighten out your front leg and your back leg will need to be super bent. I keep my back knee right under my front knee and also both of my ties are at the same angle. So pushing the deck forward like that will help you keep your butt within the transition. It's gonna give you a lot more style to the trick, but the thing to know is that position will help you out a lot once we go to pivot. So, for a lot of people, getting into that position is probably going to be the scariest part of the trick. What you can do is try and find a very small transition, a very small ramp, and just practice getting into the position and then stepping off of your board. Do this only if you are quick-footed enough. If you are not, you're going to kill yourself. Don't do it. But if you are, it's a great way to practice the balance points and just getting into the right position. So the next part of the trick is where to place your board on the coping while you're doing the rock. What you need to do is ride up the transition as straight as possible and place your back truck as close to possible to the coping as you can. This will give the trick the most style possible. It's not something you can always do if you're riding like an indoor ramp and there's a wall close or something, but when you can, try and get the back truck as close to the coping as possible. There are two things that will make or break your pivot, foot positioning and upper body placement. Now for upper body placement, let's say I'm riding up the ramp right now. For most tricks, your shoulders will be at the same angle as your board, but for a front side rock, when you go up and you rock, you need to have your shoulders super tweaked and your upper body super tweaked, basically in line with the coping or even more so if you can, and be looking over your front shoulder at the opposite wall if you can. Now having your upper body tweaked in this manner, yeah, it's super stylish, but the thing is, it will give you a lot more power and speed when you're gonna do your pivot. Because a front side rock, the pivot needs to be super quick for safety reasons. 
and also to maintain your speed. So remember, if you're going up the wall, your shoulders are super tweaked and you are looking over your front shoulder. It's one of the most crucial parts of the trick. So the last thing we haven't talked about is the position of your feet on the board, which is one of the most crucial parts of a frontside rock. So basically your front foot will be just about over the boat, but the angle of your foot will be a lot steeper than on a normal trick. Having your front foot have an angle way steeper will help when you try and push the board forward to go to rock and straighten out your leg. So it will be a lot more comfortable and you'll get in the proper position a lot easier. And if you've already looked at a few trick tips, a lot of people will say it's all in the back foot when you're doing a front side rock. Yeah, it's a huge part of the trick. The thing is, your foot needs to be right here. This is the sweet spot, just where the board starts to curve at the tail and you need to place the ball of your foot right here and have your heels way over the board, all right? So this is a really weird position, but the thing is, you're gonna turn on the ball of your feet. So if you, when you rock, all right, <clears throat> and you go to pivot, your feet will stay at the same angle and the, feet, the board will turn on the ball of your feet and will meet up around here. You'll place your feet down and you'll continue to pivot. But there is a few degrees, all right, where your feet will stay in this position and the deck will turn under your feet and your feet will meet on the deck. That's the trick. That's why everyone says it's in the back foot. It's the weird little thing to learn. Uh, one thing you can do to kind of help learn that whole part of the trick is maybe sit down on a chair and have the deck on your feet place your feet in the proper position and just kind of learn how to pivot it and how to turn it on the ball of your feet. That's the trick. That's the thing that people don't get. And the heel of your back foot, the heel, it never goes on the board until you are almost halfway done with the pivot. So while you're rocking, your heel is way up. When you're starting the turn, your heel is still way up and your heel just gets back on the board once you have completed between a quarter to, and a, to a half of the pivot. That's the trick, all right? Yeah, that's the secret to a frontside rock. So, thanks for sticking around this long. So, we just went through every little part of the frontside rock that I could think of, I hope this helped you out. If you liked the video, please leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. It would be super appreciated. And if you learned the trick because of this video, please tell me about it. That would be super cool. I want to do a lot more in-depth trick tips for you guys if you're into them. So yeah, nothing else to say, but thanks and uh, see you next time.